time to solidify my spot in the top 125. I can get inside that top 60, which is pretty big. I feel like I'm in a really good place mentally and physically coming into the fall. I don't think anybody really knows what's going to be going on in the fall. There's a lot of great storylines, drama that'll unfold. First time it is the FedEx Cup fall. So many different agendas based on where you are in the FedEx Cup race. If you're outside the top 125, you're trying to make a move, or if you're there, you're trying to stay right there and have a right to play next season. I earned myself in this position and got to claw back out of it. I'm hungry for the new opportunity now. For the recognition of playing on the PJ Tour, you want to stay out here. I put the work in. Now it's time to take care of business. I still wake up every day living this dream. I mean, I've been here for 20 years. It's hard to put into words what it means and the work I put into it. I love to do it still. I mean, it still drives me. I still love going to practice at home. I love playing out here. I love being amongst the the competitiveness that this tour brings. I think the reason I do it is I've just been so competitive and it's just like ingrained in my mind. Like I've, I've got to be competing in something and don't really have a chance anything else athletically except maybe cornhole. Since the summer started, I've been playing really nice golf and been excited to go out to the golf course. Yeah, it's way better back here. Yeah, uh... You know, my coach back in Australia, we, um, we uh, did a lot of, a lot of hard work. Making all these little tiny things a little bit better and better. Getting into those bigger events is huge. More points, more money, just, you know, that's kind of like the elite level of the PJ Tour. And um, yeah, if I can get into that position, you know, it's great. But, you know, the position I'm in, you know, regardless, I'll have my card at the end of the season. And that's definitely a, you know, motivator to play well this fall. Hopefully I can play a few weeks and, and call it a year. I'm, I'm gonna play the, all of them if I have to. That's kind of how I looked at it. There's gonna be at least a couple more opportunities, I think, but I could only get in one more tournament. I don't know. Just gotta take advantage when, when your number's called. I had some really tough weeks last year. Like I played awful at RSM and I felt like I played really well in Vegas, but didn't finish where I wanted to finish. And like little things like that, like I'm excited to get back and re-challenge myself there. You first or second off? Second off. All right, boys, have a good day, all right? Yeah, bye. Bye, bye. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, good. Have a good round, man. Next on the tee, from Sydney, Australia, Harrison Endicott. I want to be a little off to cut through it. Yeah, in that case, let's go. If we're hitting six, we're going right edge of that green seven. All right. Three birdies yeah, three more birdies. than my first round last year. There you go. 18 straight pars yeah. last year, so yeah, on, on my Thursday, so we're improving. Yeah. So, nah, all good. Okay. Good luck, gentlemen. Hey, you well, right. That line was no bueno. It's kind of a way it's been all year, struggling to get off to a good start. But it's nice to know I can bring it back, which I did. Great, great birdie. Hmm. Didn't lose it today. Can't win it today either, so. A lot of good things that happen. Oh, boy. Yeah, I crushed it, though. That's going to be fine. As long as it doesn't hit that tree, it hit the tree, but kick right. Yeah. Might get two ricochets into the fairway. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bad. I just can't get the ball close enough. Do you think I hit a low roping three? That's probably the safe part. Is it three iron? Yeah. yeah, I think that's the best place. Okay. You know, I've got a good enough fly to where I'm going to catch enough grooves. It's better than I thought. Don't turn too much. Stop. It's kind of straight. Oh, what a shame. Oh. 
think. Uh, not many bogey free bogey 70, free. 70 yeah. ones are there. But. Yeah. We'll take it. Guys, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good luck today. Good enough chat? Yeah, I'll be great, thank you. Sure. How was the morning? It's good. Early, but <laughs> pretty good. The uh, 430 alarm isn't very friendly. At least we're on the west coast. Oh, so far up. God, dude, that's gonna be tough. Oh man, wait for a You made the putt when it counted. That uh, might not matter. Let's be optimistic. You know, I made a lot of mistakes this week, and like I said before the week started, the game's good, and um, it just, it just kind of sucks. But we'll see if it hangs on. Not looking like it right now, but we'll see. You know what I need to do? It's a matter of just play my game and. See what happens. Yeah. Right, yesterday three over early. Today three over early. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm too worried about wanting to play well. I think it's getting in the way. I mean, I've been there long enough. I got nothing to worry about. I mean, I don't know why I would stress, but that's something I've got to overcome and try to figure out here in a few weeks. That ball rolled so true. Did it? Yeah. Really? Just hugging the ground. Such a nice, refreshing sight. Nice bird. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just gonna freaking heel cut it into oblivion. And drop that mountain keeps it against the wide thing and draw it. Yeah. I can tell you with virtual certainty that it was not hit anywhere near the middle of the place. I mean, I don't have any options other than just to... I know, but I mean, get a... Yeah. Get numbered. Yay, me! Today was like some of the most fun I've had on the golf course, and then... About 10 minutes ago, some of the least fun I've had on my golf course. So, anyway, just an array of emotions. It sucks. Um, so felt like I was playing much better coming into this week than going home early, more than likely. I played actually a lot better than that. Really disappointing. It sucks now. I hate missing carts. I'm on a bit of a run at the moment. I'll find something, you know, it's just got to keep hanging in there. 